Bigfoot's Arena was first introduced here uh, just over a year ago now, so basically a full year just over is uh, how long we've been going for. We like to uh, introduce fo uh, futsal and football into like a young age group, so maybe from like seven upwards sort of things. Ranging from, from little ones all the way up to adults, all the way through. We were kind of proposed by a company that, you know, kind of promoted futsal and um, we thought what a great idea it was to bring something like this to the island to benefit uh, the football college course and the island community really. A different kind of foot, football so like the ball doesn't bounce so it's a lot more easier to control and it's a smaller pitch so you can work a little bit harder. It's a bit different, it's a bit exciting, it's not got the downside of the weather and things that 11 aside football has. I think it's more open to different types of people. After a year now we've, we've got so many different clubs using the arena five nights a week. We've had our first primary school five aside competition and we've got all age groups using the arena seven days a week. Uh, including walking football, which is brilliant for everybody. We don't play a great deal of football at St George's School and we decided that we needed to get some proper football tuition. We've been using Futsal Arena for a year now. Our players are from 14 up to 16. Their skills through futsal have improved massively and their behaviour at school has improved a lot as well. When the students first came to play futsal here, they really didn't have much of a clue about warming up, they really didn't have much of a clue about playing as a team and it's really, really helped their skill base and they all get on so much better since they've been doing it. Shanklin ladies have started to use the arena. They're coming in on a Thursday night and they're going to help us um, support and promote uh, football for, for, for girls. Because of our success with our primary school event, we're now going to have a primary school event for, for girls under nines. Hopefully that will lead them into staying in football in the future, which, uh, which will be good for everybody. Um, anyone that hasn't tried futsal before, I highly recommend it. Everyone that's been through the doors and hadn't had a go has come back and played again. So come and give it a go. It's slightly easier than football as well, which always helps. So if you are a complete beginner, definitely give it a go.